Hey guys, welcome to the video, welcome to my basement, and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a short little tutorial for Bentec, and what I'm going to be doing... This is a lower control arm that I'm making for the front suspension on a Baja that I'm building. And I've already done a video, I'll put a link to it right here, showing how I laid out the points, and the tubing, and the miters, and the copes for this piece. But in this video, I'm going to show you in the sheet metal module, how to lay out pieces like this top plate and then how to carry them over and kind of lay them into your assembly so that you can kind of see what you're, uh, what you're drawing. Okay, now we're looking at the Bentec software. And the first thing that I need to do is pull up an assembly that I have for that control arm. So this right here is that control arm that we were looking at down in the basement. What I want to do is I want to make the top plate and the bottom plates that will go right here. And then I'm going to carry those over and insert them into this assembly. And I'm also going to carry over the tabs in the front here that the spindle bolts to. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the new plate. Now this plate, this is the sheet metal module is what this is called. Uh, you, have to sep you have to purchase that separately. So if you just bought the Bentec, uh, you probably don't have this. So I'm purposely setting up these two windows so that I can toggle back and forth between the two because as I'm drawing this sheet metal I'm going to want to grab some dimensions off of this assembly so I have this set up like this on purpose. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to run you through a couple of things on this sheet metal. One thing that this likes to do is and this is this was very confusing for me at first is Bentec takes its degrees in a counterclockwise fashion here so if we go to this is where we would do our points and points just like in the assembly are what everything is based off of in the sheet metal module so if we go down here to angle and if we do our distance at four inches if we go on here and click that you can see it put a point four inches straight ahead and that's because like i said it starts at zero degrees and works its way backwards counterclockwise. So if we take the angle to 90 degrees, you can see that now it's taken that four inch point and it's moved it straight up because it's now uh, it's gone from zero to 90. And if I go to 180, it's going to put that point over here. So I come over here, I put this at 180. And you can see now that point is behind us. Now if I go to 270, it will be straight down. So that's one thing that you need to know is as you're doing degrees or angles, this goes in a counterclockwise fashion. Now I want to get rid of those. Actually, before I do, let's go to line. Actually, first let's go to cursor here. With the cursor mode, anywhere you click, you'll just put a point. If you go to incremental, let's say we'll go to two inches on the y-axis and one inch. I'm sorry, two inches on the x-axis and one inch on the y-axis. Then whatever point you click on, you will be two inches over and one inch up. That's what they call the incremental. Actually, most things that I build, I do that with the incremental because it's, it's really handy laying things out like that. And then angle, I showed you intersection is where two lines meet and to be honest with you, I don't even use the other ones. Now if we go to line, if you just leave it on two points, then you just click on two points and it makes a line. Pretty simple. If you click on continuous, if you're trying to quickly pull a bunch of lines together, then the line just keeps on going. And when you're done, if you go up here to cancel, it stops that. Arc, we're not going to go over that yet. Let's go up here to edit because I want to get rid of this stuff because this is nothing that we want. So if you just click on these, everything that it highlights is going to be deleted. And it'll delete it when you come up here and click complete. That deleted all the lines. Now I want to delete all the points. And again, hit complete. Okay, now let's go back to create. Let's go back to point and angle because that's what we're going to be working off of. Now let's go back to the assembly. 
Now, the, uh, the sheet metal module works in two-dimensional top-down. So the first thing that I'm going to do, because we're trying to duplicate this, these angles right here, is I'm going to go up to Display to put this in Wireframe, and then I'm going to go up to Projections, and I'm going to click on Top View. And this will move this to a top view, which is basically the same view that we're looking at in the sheet metal module. So that'll make it a lot easier to work with. And now we need to pull some dimensions off of here so that we can carry them over to the sheet metal module. So I'm gonna click on the dimensions. And first thing I'm gonna do is go to inside angle. We'll need that angle right there. Uh, we might need this one, I'm not sure, but I'm going to grab that one. So those should be the angles that I need, and now I'm going to grab a couple of lengths. So I'm just going to click on single, and I'm going to highlight the intersection points. There you go. Oh, damn it. If you grab one that you don't want, you can just click delete and then click it and it'll make it go away. Then go back to single. I'm trying to get it right on the intersection points. Okay, now we can go back to the sheet metal module and knowing that this angle from here to here is 97.5 degrees and we know that Bentec is going to see from here to here as 90 degrees, I need to take 90 plus 97.5, and that will give me how many degrees this line needs to go out. So I'm going to go 90 plus 97.5 equals 187.5. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to make that 187.5, and I know that the distance is 7.5. One, two, five. Now, if I come out here and click on that, then that's my distance, 7.125, and that's at 187.5 degrees. Now, I just laid out this line right here. Now, I know that this is four inches, this is seven, and they're going straight down, so I know that's 270 degrees. So, I'll go over here and change my angle to 270 and I'll change my distance to seven. I'll click that and then I'll change the distance again to four and I'll click that. And now I don't need to know these angles or this length because it's just gonna work itself out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to line. I already have continuous clicked. So I'm just gonna click all the way around the board. When I'm done, I'm gonna go up and click cancel now, essentially, what we're looking at right here, this piece is the exact same as this right here. However, I want to make this a little bit nicer. I want to radius the corners. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to arc. We're going to make sure that it's clicked on fillet. And we're going to click auto trim. And we're going to make the radius, let's say, three quarters of an inch. We'll come over here and click the first line. And I'm going to click the second line, and you can see that it's giving you a visual representation as to what it's going to do. So I click that. And then you see, because we clicked this auto trim, when we did that, it cleaned up the corners here. And that, that needs to be done because we're going to actually turn this into a part. So we're going to do that all the way around the board. Now that looks much nicer. Now what we need to do is... We need to tell this part like what it is, what it's gonna be made out of so that it can actually turn it into something. So what we're gonna do is we go up here to part and it's gonna ask you the material. If you click on this, this is gonna pull up your sheet metal like library. And I have 0.125 aluminum. I don't know why I have it called aluminum. This, this should just be 0.125 because it doesn't know if it's aluminum steel, what have you, but I click on this 0.125 aluminum and you can see that this went green. I think this was red or orange before. When it's green, it's telling you that all of your lines are good and it can, you know, everything, everything makes sense to it. 
In order to double check that, we're going to go up here to display and you're going to click it one, two, three times. And now you're looking at your part. You can see that it's got some thickness to it and everything is, is coming around good. Go up to display, click it two more times. Every time you click this, you go to a different like visual mode. I don't know what all the modes are. I just know if you click it three times, you'll take it to your material and then you click it two more times and you take it out of there. And this is back to your, like your drafting layout. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take this sheet metal piece and I wanna overlay it onto my control arm. Now in order to do that, we need to tell Bentec exactly where to put it onto this assembly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my assembly I'm gonna to go to dimensions and I'm gonna click delete all. I'm gonna hit yes. That way it'll clean my drawing up. Then I'm gonna go back to main and I'm gonna rotate it a little bit so that it'll be a little bit easier to work with when I actually bring that piece in here. Then I'm gonna go back to the sheet metal module and I'm gonna go up here to transfer. And it's gonna ask me a couple of different things. What I'm gonna click on is existing assembly and I'm gonna click on this because this is my lower control arm. So I'm gonna click on that. Now it brings you to this page where it's essentially asking you with your anchor point, which is this point right here, if you wanna move that, and usually you do. All of my anchor points on my assembly are in the center of the tube. And this control arm is made out of inch and three quarter uh, steel tubing. What that means is, I need to move my anchor point to the center of the tubing. So I can rotate this around just like you do with your uh, drawing by clicking on the, uh, you can move it by clicking on the center scroller and if you press down on the right click, you can rotate it. So I'm gonna go over here and I can zoom in and I can see that my anchor point is at the bottom of my piece of metal and it's in this corner, but I actually need to lower this down seven eighths of an inch so that I am, I'm in the center of the inch and three quarter tube. So what I'm gonna do is you come over here to where you can create points or move points and I'm gonna set my reference, which is going to be that point. And then I'm going to go to the floor uh, 0.875 inches and I'm going to hit okay, I'm going to hit, click apply. Now you see it moved my anchor point from there down to here, and that will be the center of my inch and three quarter tube. So now I'm gonna click okay, and it's gonna say, do you wish to directly paste this part into the assembly? And the answer is no. If you say directly, it's just gonna like put it where it wants to and it's not gonna be where you want it. So just click no. Now that you clicked no, it's waiting for you to tell it where to put it. So you come over here, click up here. Now you see what it's doing is it's carrying your piece and it's just taking it to the closest point on the assembly. You can still move the assembly around with your mouse but don't click anything, don't left click anything because if you do, that's where it's gonna put it. But we can see, you know, when it finds this point, that's exactly where we want it. So I'm gonna click that. It's gonna ask me to name it. I'm gonna to say top plate. I'm gonna hit okay. And now it's got another one. It'll keep adding them in there if you want it to, but I don't want it to. So I'm just gonna temporarily hit pick points and then back to main and then that's my piece. Now you can rotate that around, check it out, see if you like that, kind of see how it's going to look. Maybe you need to make some changes. If you do need to make some changes, you can go up to parts and you can see plate 11 here. That is the piece right there. And if you hit delete, it would delete it. So that's a real crash course on how to draw something relatively simple in the sheet metal module and then carry it over. I hope this video is helpful and clears some of it up for you guys. And I hope to see you on the next video. Take care.